Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Does he have a mole on his face? No, he doesn't, but he definitely used to. God-tier writing for an intro aside, I think we're all familiar with actor Tom Holland. You probably know him as either Spider-Man or boyfriend of Euphoria actress Sanjaya, but you may not know that at one point, he had a mole that mysteriously vanished from his face. Today, I want to discuss what in the sweet nipple-licking Christ happened to it. For the record, I'm not making fun of Mr. Holland or his departed beauty mark, for I too am a member of the mole community. I've had it since birth, and it's a great conversation piece. I only make fun of people who wear fake moles. That is mole face and my people will not stand for it. Tom had his mole removed sometime in 2014 and I have three theories as to why that happened. Theory number one, he did it for the ladies. Us fellas are known to do crazy things for the dames. One time I wanted to impress a girl by withdrawing all of the money from an ATM. But when I put my card in the machine, I realized it wasn't an ATM, but rather a paper shredder. But then I realized the girl wasn't a girl, but rather a box of sidewalk chalk. Look, I don't know either, but we've all been there. Theory number two, he did it for Spider-Man. In 2014, Captain America's Civil Rights was announced for production, marking Tom Holland's debut as Spider-Man. I think it might be possible Tom got rid of his mole for the character. Actors do this kind of thing all the time. Lose some weight for a role, lose some hair for a role, lose a mole for a role. Plus, it'll look a little jarring if Spider-Man were to have a mole on his face. My third and final theory is the most unfortunate. He simply just didn't like the way he looked. Don't get me wrong, with or without a mole, the guy is a goddamn stallion. But there's still some people out there that see moles as imperfections, which makes me really sad. It's really hard for some people to look in the mirror and say, I love you, which I totally understand. Sometimes you might see yourself and you think that you look a little pudgy. You might feel isolated, lonely, left out. Maybe you don't like your outfit. And that lack of confidence can make you unhappy, causing you to not like yourself. Then you start doing things you never pictured yourself doing because you think people might like you. And if people like you, you might like yourself. And you do these things for a while and people start looking at you differently. And maybe you shed that pudgy look and you feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself but you're not sure if these things are you. So your head feels scrambled because you're busy being something that you're not. And that's when you get fed up. And instead of wanting to belong somewhere, you want to create something of your own. And you love it so much, you do it again. And 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 while you might be a little pudgy again, and you might be by yourself, you're no longer alone. And you finally have the chance to accept yourself. I love you.